Tell us everything. Fine. It's just not my time. Not your time, huh? Then why are you on so late? You never like anyone. You should give Chris a chance. He's hot. I'm going to bed. Are you staying the night? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe I should go. I need to catch my last train. Let's stay. The movie's almost done. Let's finish it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can okay. stay in the guest room. <laughs> Good night, darling. Turn off the lights, please. When your wife complains why you don't take her to the expensive places, mm -hmm. take her to the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> you know that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really funny, huh? Yeah, <laughs> Chris, uh, have your test results come through yet? Yeah, they have actually, and um, I'm happy to say they're negative. Oh. That's good. Yeah, that's very good. Um, and actually, we couldn't wait, and we hooked up last night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, we're going to tell you guys today, but um, and I'm still waiting for my test results, but it's not like they're going to be positive anyway. Um, I was pretty clear when we started this, so it's all good. Mm. <laughs> and I'm sorry too, guys. I mean, I said we should wait, but you know how convincing this one is. <laughs> That's okay. I'm really happy for you both. I know you wanted this for a while. Mine hasn't come through it either. Have your test results come through it, darling? Uh, no, um, not not like I've checked though. It's a shame you and Chris didn't click. Things could have been so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you can't force these things, but we had a good time when we went out for dinner, didn't yeah. we? Um, oh yeah, I uh, guess. Don't worry, darling. We'll find someone for you. I'm just too busy at work right now, Ed. I've got a lot on my plate. No, you work too hard, babe. You've got to have some fun in life. I have tons of fun. Of course you do, darling. You didn't mean anything by that, did you? I mean, we could all benefit from some fun together. Anyway, the funniest thing happened today when this barrister came to the judge. And guys, I had to fight for this. <laughs> but this guy had the funniest look, <laughs> you know, in the entire world. And when he came to the judge, he, he couldn't say anything. And, and you know, imagine the face of funny. <laughs> Chris and Lola are really eating it up. It's kind of nice having somebody else around. It just seems like the fun we've needed so desperately. Sure. We should invite him to your birthday dinner next week. He can tell more of those stupid lawyer jokes. I could use some new material for the city court. Isn't it too soon? 
too soon. For who? For Chris? <laughs> no. He and Lola have known each other for months now. And you know how fun he is. I like him. Come on. Don't you? I'm just worried that we were rushing. A few months ago it was Lola. And before that, Mary. And now there's Chris. I mean, don't you think things can get out of hand if we keep going like this? Don't tell me you're having doubts now. Of course not, hun. And you know I think Chris is great. But there's just something off about Lola. What do you mean? Nothing. I mean, have you noticed anything weird about Lola lately? Of course not, darling. You're just overwhelmed with work and trying to avoid spending time with us. Nothing's going on, darling. Let's just relax. And if you still feel something is weird, you can just ask Lola tomorrow when you see her. I guess. Is she still doing that show at night? I just hope she doesn't drag me to that dump with her hipster friends before you get there. You'll be fine, Mrs. Jones. Chris and I will be there. Now turn off the light. I have an important case in the morning. Yeah, I know a place around the corner. It's really cool and pretty. I'm not looking for pretty. Oh, come on. We have some time. Maybe we can just get some records for the player you have at home. You know, something from the Bee Gees? The Bee Gees, <laughs> the Bee Gees suck. And I don't even think my nephew likes music. I can obviously everyone likes music. Well, maybe he doesn't. Okay. There are no records here. There's only sheet music. I mean, do you even read sheet music? No, I don't. I just play by ear. I have a perfect pitch. Of course you do. For me, the piano is academic. Serious. I had to work on it, but... That's nice. Never really liked to listen. And guitar comes naturally to me, so... Uh... Of course it does. That's why they used to have records here. Doesn't look like I ever did. Well, if Jeremiah plays an instrument, we could, you know, just get him some books. He doesn't like books. Hey, are you sure everything's okay between you and Eddie? Everything's fine. Can we just move on? I'm hungry. Okay. Because he was, you know, a little on the edge last week. But um, I think he's really happy. He seems to really like Chris. You think he's happy? Yes, very. Okay, this is what I've been trying to tell you all along. To be happy, you need to find someone and rest from work, okay? I mean, Eddie's job is stressful too, but he handles being a lawyer by just loosening up and being chill. And, and now he's happy because he has both the guitarist and the pianist, which is what he always wanted. And, and he doesn't, you know, just follow one melody or just follow the rules. Okay, I, I know that you can read sheet music, but just forget it. I mean, it was probably written by someone who's like six feet under now, and you're here. Because for now. So just, you know, listen to what you really want. I'm going to get him this. He needs to learn to read music. He'll thank me when he's older. Darling, why are you getting ready? You changed my mind. Oh, come on, don't be like that. I'm going to take a quick shower and then you can get ready. I'm not going. You're gonna have Lola's feelings. You can do some work tomorrow. Mm. What are you doing with my phone, darling? Put it down and talk to me. You motherfucker! Jesus, calm down. How are you? How are you? It's growing too, wasn't it? I, I, I can't explain. You can't bullshit your way out of this one. Not even fucking that asshole was enough. You had to give me chlamydia as well. What are you talking about? Your happy fucking dick gave me chlamydia. Fucking chlamydia! I'm sorry. I didn't think. What? That fucking around with my permission wasn't going to be enough? That the only thing I wanted was honesty? What, you had to do it behind my back as well? What is fucking wrong with you? You're not polyamorous. You're just a fucking asshole. Hey, come on, please. We need to talk.
talk about this. There is nothing to talk about, the cheating bastard. What's going on? The whole neighborhood can hear you, guys. Oh, hey, you're still not dressed. We're gonna be late, okay? Go on, tell them. Tell them what you did, you cheating bastard. You gave us all clothes. I didn't. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I haven't slept with anybody else. And you heard yesterday that Chris is negative. You're lying! What? He told you? Maya, I am so, so sorry. We just didn't know how to bring it up with her. It was experimental, but chlamydia? What, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, shut it, pretty boy, you husband fucker. I can't stay here anymore, Ed. Fuck your boyfriend, fuck your fucking girlfriend, and fuck you. This is all bullshit. I should have never have let you talk me into any of this. You lies deserve each other.